Hello. Today is a great day for a miracle. Thank you for accompanying us in this walk into a world of miracles. In this series of meditations, we explore the spectacular incidents that took place during the life and times of Jesus Christ called miracles. I'm Rev. Ronald Nathan and I'm the minister of the Hogard Amy Zion Church in Jackson in the parish of St. Michael in the nation of Barbados. A miracle is an extraordinary and astonishing happening that is due particularly to the presence and actions of God. The miracles of Jesus Christ gives us insight and a glimpse into his compassion, his identity and his future plans. These culminate in what we called an exclamation of, Oh my God, or Oh my God moments. Today we are exploring Jesus' healing of a woman from Canaan. It's found in Matthew chapter 15, verse 22 through to 28. And this is the third installment on this miracle. I read as follows. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him, crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon-possessed and suffering terribly. Jesus did not answer a word, so his disciples came to him and urged him, Send her away, for she keeps crying after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep. Of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him, Lord, help me. He replied, It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Yes, it is, Lord, she said. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus said to her, Woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that moment. This narrative on a superficial level tells us of a woman who came to Jesus Christ on behalf of a daughter who was terribly sick. The origins of the daughter's disease was a spiritual one. The woman was quite clear that something had to be done or her daughter would continue to suffer and would most likely be killed. She was a woman, a Canaanite woman, who lived in a space and time that marginalized her because of her gender, ethnicity, religion, status, and homeland. However, her distress due to her marginalization was nothing in comparison to her in at seeing the suffering of her daughter day after day. As she moved around the towns of Tyre and Sidon, she heard of a holy man who was walking the streets of the Roman province of Judea, reportedly doing miraculous works. She would have overheard people, travelers, who may have claimed to have seen him perform miracles. The stories continued to persist. Healing of the blind, feeding of uh, multitudes, even raising of the dead. Her attention would have peaked when she also heard that he had delivered numerous people of demon or spirit-related possession and illness. She may have even gone so far as to inquire of Jews, the few that she may have met, who would have been passing through the region of the veracity of the claims of this Messiah figure. By the time we meet her in the biblical text, she had a good knowledge of Jesus Christ. Why do I say that? She comes crying out, Lord, Son of 
David, have mercy on me. She would have made an assessment of this man. She recognized that he had the capacity to have mercy and that that mercy could result in the deliverance of her daughter. That is very interesting. The prejudice of religious people would have stopped this woman from getting healing for her daughter. But she bypasses that by coming directly to Jesus Christ persistently and asking, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on me. Later on, she summarizes this once again when she comes to Jesus and she says, Help me, Lord, help me. She had gone the extra mile. The works of Jesus Christ had crossed the demarcations lines of Judea and was known and discussed in the unsanctified spaces of Tyre and Sidon. It is of note that followers of Jesus Christ do not have a monopoly on the good news and the good works of Jesus Christ. She was not of the household of Israel. She lived in a bastardized region called Tyre and Sidon, and she was not a follower of the Jewish religion. Yet, her daughter was made whole. So there you have it. God the Father working the extraordinary through his Son for his praise and his glory. Amen.